Hello, how are you? Hope you're good. So today I have another very, very chill flip through through the bullet journal setup for April. I didn't really get a chance to film it while I was doing it, but you know, you know how it is. <laughs> this is better than nothing, right? Uh, I'm continuing on with the Harry Potter theme. So we are on year four, um, although there's some year five elements, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So I think without further ado, let's grab a hot drink of your choice and get to it. Actually, I'll quickly show you what I've done for the last two weeks, because as you know, I set up two weeks when I start and then two weeks later. So first is Crookshanks for the third book and then the Leaves and the Grim in the cup from the tea leaves as well from the third one. So, okay, coming back to the current theme now, I went with the Triwizard Cup. Um, on the cover and there is a little parchment paper coming out of it that says April. You can see a little bit more in detail here. Uh, I'm quite happy with how that's turned out actually. I'm not, I'm not mad. <laughs> so that sets the theme for the Goblet of Fire and the next pages are gonna be just as usual. I actually found the layout of the bullet journal finally after what feels like years of searching that actually works for me, which is it's great. It's yeah, it's working for me at the moment. So I'll see how it goes afterwards. I simplified it a lot from where I began actually. The simpler the better. But yeah, the monthly layout from now on looks just like this. I have the month written on the top and then I split my days into uh, personal and YouTube. And I ditched the calendar view because it was just too messy and it seemed wasteful. I quite like this one. And then on the right, I'll write up the what I need to film, what I have ed already edited, Instagram ideas if I have any, and now I added a little watch log there at the corner because I want to include that in my wrap-ups from now on. Um, for the actual little illustration, as I always just do a tiny one here, I decided to go with the pouch of gold. Um, at first I thought maybe because of the, for the Quidditch World Cup where they have a lot of leprechaun gold, uh, but then I thought also could be fitted for the Triwizarding winnings because it was like a thousand galleons, wasn't it? So really that simple to-do works on so many levels. <laughs> but yeah, the next page is usually a quote of some sort and a tracker for the month. I think last month I managed to use the tracker for like 20 days, which is a record for me. I always forget like mid-month. So that was going well, but I decided that it's gonna be so busy that there's really no way I will keep up with that. But something is going on, as most of you will know if you're watching this video, is that OWL, uh, um, readathon so I decided to do a tracker for that so I have all of my subjects and the selected books for this I added the Ministry of Magic um, symbol on the top left there and uh, each square marks 50 pages so, so once I'm done reading those 50 pages I'll color it in and it's gonna be like a updatable tracker for how the readathon is going and for this I just went with like a sort of like scorched or old parchment spread and actually the whole page is not colored at all, it's just the edges in two shades. So I just went with a darker color around the edge and then slightly lighter and the rest of it is not colored at all. But it gives an illusion that it is. And yeah, it's fairly simple. I'm quite enjoying how it looks like and I think it'll make the readathon even a little bit more fun that way. And as I mentioned, this is something that I know it takes place in the fifth book, but it, it just so happened that it happens in April and what can you do? And lastly, we have the weekly layouts. As always, I set up two in advance and then two after those two weeks pass. Uh, the first week I went with uh, Durmstrang ship. This is not the greatest ship ha that has ever been doodled, but <laughs> this will just be simply the ship that does the job. So yeah, so this is for the first week of April from the 2nd to the 8th and yeah, not much to see here. Moving on. For the very last week that I preset, I wanted something fairly simple. I was thinking about the dragon, but then I thought, do I really have enough time to do that dragon justice? Because, you know, you, you saw the ship. <laughs> and the answer was no. So I went with the golden egg and I'm actually quite happy with it. It's a way smaller doodle, which I was sort of aiming for from the last time. Because if you remember from the last time, my doodles kept going bigger and bigger when the Dementor one was basically the whole page and I was like, I need to calm down. So here's the golden egg one. It's pretty small and I kind of like it. 
So that brings us to the end of this setup. Uh, as I said, I will be setting up the last two weeks later on in the month. I usually upload those in my Instagram stories, so if you want to be able to see that before the next upload of the bullet journal setup for the next month, you can follow me there if you wanna. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was quite short and I know I didn't film it while I was doodling these, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it and had a relaxing time listening to me babble about my bullet journal and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!